Hi. Now, in this video, what I want to do is extend the work that we've already covered in my previous tutorials on differentiating hyperbolic functions. In this video, we've got five questions here which involve using the chain rule, product and quotient rules. So I'm going to run through each of these questions here, but at any time I would certainly encourage you to pause the video and see if you can carry on with doing them. So first of all then, for number one, we've got to differentiate y equals 3 cos 2x. So in order to do this, you're going to need to use the chain rule. Remember, the chain rule then is essentially that dy dx equals dy by dt times dt dx. And for this one, I'd let t equal the 2x. So just put that in here, let t equal 2x. So what we've got is that y would be equal to 3 times cosh t, 3 cosh of t. So when it comes to working out what dy by dx is, dy by dx is going to equal dy by dt. Differentiate 3 cosh t with respect to t is going to give me 3 shine t. But instead of writing t, I'm going to write t as the 2x. So we've got 3 shine 2x, and now I need to multiply it by dt by dx, differentiate t with respect to x, and I've just got 2. And then we can clean this up, and we end up with 3 times 2, which is 6, and then you've got the shine of 2x. So there's the first one done by the chain rule. Next, we've got y equals shine of 4x cubed. And again, we're going to need to use the chain rule for this. What I do is let t equal the 4x cubed. So if we just say here, let t equal 4x cubed, then what we've got is that therefore y equals the shine of t. So dy by dx is going to be equal to well, differential of y with respect to t. If we differentiate shine t, it's going to be cosh of t. But t, we know, is 4x cubed. So we've got that. And now we need to multiply it by dt dx. And if we differentiate 4x cubed with respect to x, that's going to be 12x squared. And tidying this one up gives us... 12x squared multiplied by the cosh of 4x cubed. Okay, so there's another one there. For number 3, y equals than cubed x. And to handle this one, what I'd want to do is to change this to all of than of x all to the power 3. So again, I'd need to use the chain rule here. This time I would let t equal than of x. And if that's the case, we therefore have got y equaling t cubed. So for dy by dx, we've therefore got dy by dx equals, so, we need to do dy dt first of all. Differentiate y with respect to t, we get 3t squared. So that's going to be 3 multiplied by t, which is than x. And we've got that all squared. So than of x all squared. Now we need to do dt by dx. Differentiate than x with respect to x. Now we looked at the differential of than x in an earlier video. I showed you that the result was sech squared x. You should though see this in standard formula books. So uh, just check that out. And then if we clean this up, all we've got then is 3 than squared of x sech squared x. Okay, so 
that's those three done. Now moving on to four and five. So with these ones for four, we've got y equals x shine four x. To differentiate this one requires the use of the product rule. So assuming that you're okay then with the product rule, so we take the one part, let's say the x, multiply it by the differential of shine 4x. So using the chain rule for this, what we're going to get is cosh 4x, and then multiply that by the differential of 4x, which is going to be 4. Then for the product rule, we put plus, we'll take the shine 4x now, and we multiply this with the differential then of x with respect to x, which is 1. And cleaning this one up, well, this is going to give us 4x cosh of 4x. And then this term is just going to be plus the shine of 4x. Okay, so that's that one. Now in number 5, we've got to use the quotient rule here. So for this, dy by dx is going to equal the denominator. We take that first of all, multiply it by the differential of the numerator, and the differential of coset x, which again I showed you in the last video in this series, differential of coset x turned out to be minus coth x, and that was times by cosec x. So that's there is the differential of cosec x. And for the quotient rule, it'll be minus. Then we take the numerator times it with the differential of denominator. So the numerator is cosec x. Multiply that by a differential of x with respect to x, and that's 1. And for the quotient rule, we divide all of this by the denominator squared, so that's x squared. Now, cleaning this up, I notice both terms are negative. So what I'm going to do is pull out a negative over the fraction. Now I'm going to write cosec x at the end of a bracket here. I think it looks better if it's at the end. So if I've pulled out cosec x out of this term here, then I've just got x cos x in there, x cos x. And for this term, cosec x is being pulled out, I would then end up with plus 1. Remember, the minus has been drawn out the front overall. And this is all divided by x squared. OK, well, I hope you've been able to uh, see how to do those kind of questions and you can employ those methods when you get similar questions like this. Okay, 